Coates, Vicky Mazzarana, and Brandon Sneed. Our timekeepers, Steve Esposito and Steve Mazzagatti. Our judges at ringside, Tim Cheatham, Patricia Morse Jarman, and Don Trella. And the man in charge at the sound of the bell, Mr. Russell Mora. Now to everyone in attendance and the millions watching on ESPN. This is boxing. This is top rank. And this is the main event. 12 rounds for the WBA and IBF Bantamweight Championships of the World. Introducing first out of the blue corner. Presented in association with MP Promotions. He weighed in at 117.4 pounds. Wearing blue trunks with red and gold trim. He brings a record of 30 victories with only two defeats, one draw. 20 of those wins coming by way of knockout. He is the IBF number one bantamweight contender. From Pai Lai, Philippines, Michael Hot and Spicy Desmarinas! Introducing out of the red corner, presented in association with Taken Promotions and Ohashi Promotions. He weighed in at 118 pounds, wearing black trunks with white trim. He brings a perfect record, 20 wins, no defeats, 17 victories coming by way of knockout. Making his 16th world title appearance, he is the former light flyweight world champion, the former junior bantamweight world champion, He is the reigning, defending, WBA, IBF, unified, bantamweight champion of the world from Zama, Kanagawa, Japan, the monster, Naoya Inoue. Mouthpiece, gentlemen, trunks here are good, trunks here are good. Anything below this line is a foul. We went over the rules in the dressing room. I want to remind you, protect yourself at all times, obey my commands. God bless you both, touch up. You know, right now, the boxing galaxy of stars, folks, it is widespread. You got Canelo Alvarez, he's the biggest singular attraction. Tyson Fury, the heavyweight champ, eh, probably the biggest personality. Crawford needs a fight, Spence has Pacquiao, Teofimo Lopez, his weekend plans were COVID interrupted. And then there's this guy on the left in a way. There's no drama, there's no criticism, no controversy. There's just destructive fists and focus. And now a new target opposite him. The opening bell, it unleashes the monster, his 21st pro fight. Starting out, Dead Marines is a southpaw. In fighting the southpaw and you know orthodox, the right hand and the left hook are the two punches that you want to look for. All starting with the foot position, the lead foot. If you get your foot outside the lead foot of the southpaw, you can line up your power shot, which is the right hand. That left hook that in a way just landed is so quick and so precise to the point that it is just shocking and surprising to opponents and they they can't realize that the punch got there that quick hand speed combining with that power it's the hand speed also the balance of in he has perfect balance even when he's in exchanges and he gets hit flush it's like almost an autocorrect with his balance there's that left hook again you see how quickly he can viper strike it at a moment's notice Desmarine is choosing right now to get on his bike. Moving 
Trying not to stand directly in front of anyway. Desmarinas is doing the right thing. Yes, he is. He's saying, I know you got punching power, but you gotta, you gotta catch me. The hope for Desmarina is, is to get this fight going a little bit where he can warm up, maybe he can land some shots and start to get his range so he can get some respect from Inouye, but it won't be easy. Desmarina's trying to go with the left hand to the body. Now range finding to the body with a jab is Inouye. As Marina has given up a lot of energy just from the presence of Inouye. Just the, the fact that Inouye is in range to land is, is unnerving Des Marinas. And he does so with a right hand. That is a great way to put it, Dre. Just his presence, the constant stalking, the perfect footwork to always be in position to attack. That is draining when you're the opponent, even if very little is happening with the fist. Yes, it's tough when you cannot make a mistake. The shot that Desmarinas is going to be looking for is the looping left hand. That's his power shot. And he's looking, trying to lure Inouye into that shot. Trying to get him comfortable, moving, chasing him, make a mistake, and then boom, he's going to look for it. Lands the left hook as Desmarinas came in and crossed that threshold. The undefeated champion, the three-division world champion, who's really a fighter's fighter. It's interesting to see who came out to see him tonight among the celebs and the boxing stars ringside. Now let's take a look at who came out. Here's Gabe Flores. Gabe Flores is an emerging American superstar, 20 and 0. 130 pound world champion, Jamel Herring. He's helping out with the international broadcast tonight. He had himself a huge win this year against Carl Frampton. And then the two guys who are in this division, John Casimero, who on August 14th now the reports are, he's going to be taking on the Filipino Flash, the future Hall of Famer, Nonito Donaire, who is Inouye's rival in the fight of the year. And you know who else came to see Inouye tonight? Gene Simmons, the demon, Dr. Love. Gene Simmons is sitting dead center, front row, with the Hall of Fame promoter, Bob Arum, to see Naoya in a way. Seconds out. In a way was 10 of 34 with his punches in that first round. The 10 to 2 connect advantage against Des Marinas. Good straight left from Des Marinas. That's the shot he's looking for, using the movement to set it up. But he said that, you know, most opponents that fight, in a way, they stand directly in front of him. He said no one really gives him angles. Well, boy, you just saw a moment ago that danger zone of how quickly that left hook will fire off at him if he comes in. If he's not clean with it, watch your hands, watch your hands. he's got to be careful. Yeah, but Des Marinas is going to have to be in that range and still get his if he's got any shot of landing anything significant. There's no doubt. You've got to take certain risks. In a way, had a spectacular, I mean, utterly spectacular knockout in his last fight with a fighter trying to beat him to a punch, trying to come in against Maloney. And it's just a slip counter with a brutal right hand that floored him. That's exactly what Inouye needs to do if he's going to slow down the legs of Des Marinas. Is go down to the body. He dug a nice right hand down to the body of Des Marinas. He's landed three body punches to this point. Is that lead right hand? Good defense from Des Marinas along the ropes. Nice the shot right hand. there. Des Marinas trying to time that left hand. So you can already tell from the body language of Des Marinas, he's moving a lot. He doesn't want to get touched by those big shots, but offensively, he's starting to settle down and land some shots. There it is. But then a shot like that will land. Left hook to the body. Knocked down, scored by the monster. Liver. Left hook to the liver. Liver shot. Puts down Des Marinas. Seven, eight, good, give me your gloves. 50 
seconds to work here in round two for Inouye, stalking his prey. Oh, big left hand dug in underneath. Now working behind the jab, nearly a clash of heads there. Des is trying to steady himself on his feet. In a way, stalking. Goes to the body, left uppercut comes in as well. That's what you do when you hurt a person to the body. Oh, another you know, body right shot. Right back down there. Pinpoint accuracy with the left hand to the body. One of the most devastating punches you can land in this sport. Paralyzes the opponent. And it did with Des Moranis. Des Moranis is still hurt. There's no doubt about it. Trying to survive the fouls. Ooh. Another body shot comes in. Look at it away. This is what he delivers time and again. Des Moranis is so game to fight back. Oh. In a way, goes to that spot again. Just bruising that liver shot. Targeting that right flank. Common shot in the sport of boxing, but it didn't land with common power. Here we see Inouye throw a waist right uppercut and just sort of graze the mid to side of Des Marines. And it was a delayed reaction, but he thought about it. He said, I, I just can't stand up. It, it, that kind of shot takes the wind out of you. Jab, waist uppercut, and just a grazing shot right there that just paralyzed Des Marines. And Inouye went back there six or seven times throughout the course of that round. Then he goes back to the body. Now he goes back to the body with the left hook. Like we told you, it's a lingering effect. When you get hit in the liver, it lingers. And sometimes it even lingers for a week. A week, people. Round number three. 20 fights for Inouye have only lasted a total of 114 rounds. 5.7 rounds is his average length of an in-a-way fight, and he hurts Desmarinas wow. in round two. The velocity, I know it looked like it was grazing, but the speed oh, is, oh, God. he digs in again! And Tim, for people at home saying the delayed reaction, what that feels like is very unique. There's that second pause, and then your entire system just wants to shut down. you're thinking about it, you're saying, oh, that hurt, and then it, mm, it really digs in on you, and then you, <laughs> you have no choice but to go down from a liver shot. This right here is when it when it starts to become unfair for opponents of Inouye when, yes, he's offensively powerful, but then defensively he's stingy and he doesn't let you get anything with his cat quick quickness. You start, you, fighters realize right away that they really can't hit him and he can hit them anytime he wants to. That's all starting with his stance, Dre. He keeps that back foot up so that way he can pounce on his opposition and also get off. That bleed foot stays flat on the ground, so that way he can push off to get back out of range. In a way, he's looking to go back to that body. He's just going away from it for a little bit. Make Des Marines forget about it. Then he's going back down there with that left hook. There Sorry. it is. Yep. Sold the right hand, came back with the left to the body. Now Des is trying to get right into that kitchen, fires off a combination. You see those shots being blocked by In a way. The undefeated world champion number three pound-for-pound pound fighter in the world. That's the high guard enticing right there. He's trying to entice and allow Desmarinas to punch, so that way he opens himself up. Tried to get it right there, but it grazed the body of Desmarinas. You see Desmarinas now purposely pinning that right elbow to his side every time. He gets at close range. And that's why a smart fighter like anyway would go away from it and then come back to it. Mm. Three punch combination. Oh. Goes back to it again. Oh! Big time shot to the body by Inouye. It's over. Six, seven, eight, nine. Survives the count, but can he survive the next half minute? Destructive work from the monster. Uppercut, body shot again! My oh my! Three body shot knockdowns and a knockout victory for the great Naoye Inouye! As advertised.
118 pounds, and as has been said, one of the most efficient hunting machines in all of boxing. Wow.